So children, let's start simple past tense. Now let's see what's there. The form which will be there is subject plus verb. And which form of verb? Past form or V2. Second form of verb is used in simple past tense. Okay. So let's have few examples. I played saucer with my friends last Saturday. Played means I. I means I'm talking about myself and I played saucer. Means last Saturday I played saucer with my friends. It has already uh, took place, right? Next example. Karen gave us a present for a wedding anniversary. Karen gave us. It's not give. Gave us, right? So gave again is a second form of verb, right? And is also known as past form of verb. Now let's see where we use simple past tense. Simple past tense is used for completed actions which took place in the past. And for that we use past form of verbs, right? So we use a simple past tense for actions which are already completed, which already uh, took place in the past, right? Now they are no, no longer going on. So for that we use second form of verb or past form of verb, right? So we make past form of verb generally by adding ed in the past. Uh, how we make form now, how we make the past form of verb, we generally add ed in the verbs and but some verbs have special past verbs, right? So some verbs, they have special second form of verb. Those verbs are known as irregular verbs. Those verbs are known as irregular verbs. So now let's understand the forms of verb. First form, second form and third form. First form is a present form, right? Second form is a past form and third one is past participle form, okay? So give, second form will be gave. Karen gave us a gift in our wedding anniversary. So gave and then third form will be given. Build, built and third form is also built. Come, came, come. Eat, ate, eaten. Go, went, gone. So in the last one as you can see go, went and gone. We cannot add ed. Even in any one of them, we cannot add ed. So, all these are irregular verbs. Second form of verbs are irregular, right? Now, let's see what's next. So, here is a paragraph which is written in simple past tense, okay? So, let's see what is there. I woke up early. Wake up. Instead of wake, uh, the girl have mentioned woke. Woke means she has already... Uh, woke up, right? So now what happened? My parents wished me happy birthday. They gave me many gifts. I did not know that my parents had bought so many presents for me. I wondered when did they bought all the gifts? In the evening, my friends came to my birthday party. My grandparents also came and they bought, they brought a cycle for me. So now you can see this paragraph is in simple past tense. So now let's see, let's focus on the words. Can you see some um, bold words here like woke, wished, gave, uh, bought, brought, came, wondered. So all these are your verbs in past form, second form of verb. So now... In the simple present tense, we use the past form of verb, right? We already know it. We use second form of verb or the simple past tense, past form of the verb, right? So here are a few words which we read in the paragraph. Wake, the past form of wake is woke, wish, wished, write, wrote, come, came, bring, brought. So these are the words which we read in the paragraph, right? And these are the past tense of the verb. So now let's have few examples of simple past tense. We received the package this morning means now might be it is the afternoon or is the evening. That's why um, the spokes.
spokesperson is saying that we received the package right they received it earlier right they are not receiving it right now if they are receiving it right now then they would have mentioned ing form right we have already studied present continuous so yes ing form so uh, this was your simple past tense received ed right in the word we have mentioned ed right so it will be your simple past tense my grandfather built this house in 1968 so the grandfather built uh, this house built built means he has made years back how many years back uh, he has made this house in 1968 right and now it is 2020 so means it has already taken place in the past so therefore we have used the past form of verb next example in the last example is antonio lived in Ag agra for 5 years so antonio lived means right now he is not living he is not living there right so antonio lived in agra for how many years 5 years okay so these were all the examples of simple past tense let's revise it once again uh in simple past tense what we do we use the ed form of verb or the second form or the v2 form of verb past form right now there are few words which are which do not form their uh, past form by adding ed they do not form their past uh form by adding ed and those verbs are known as irregular verbs right okay so whenever we are making a sentence which is in simple past form simple past tense we just have to keep one thing in mind that we have to use second form of verb which form second form of verb so children that was all for today's class i hope you all got the concept of simple past tense we'll meet you again with another tense soon okay till then bye bye